Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm so glad you're here. Real quickly, thank you channel members. I appreciate all of you, and thank you anyone taking the time to come in and check out my knife, my EDC content, my bad decision making. I'm glad you're here. If you wanted to do me a super solid, and you'd hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon, it would further help me out. Today, we are going to do a deep dive overview into this knife that I have only carried for 48 hours, but it is one that I have been aware of and I've been in the market for. This is a Roosevelt from early last year. It's 1282 is the number. Magnacut 6364HRC. It's got the radial milling all tie construction born about 114 2023 now when you get this knife out i think in the unboxing i don't know if i gave much uh background there but we'll we'll jump into that again real quick these guys are a small little shop like uh this is from what i understand getting ready to expand but it's a little uh, mechanical engineering cnc shop where they make small batches of cool shit. And it's in Attica, Indiana, I think. I could be wrong there. But um, the knife, when I first experienced it, Blade Show 2022, I, I was in a line of people. There were a lot of things that led into it. I walked out of Blade 2022 not really understanding what the hype was about. For me, it was a... 750 i think the day i saw them there were only a few that had some uh extra appointments they were maybe around the 800 dollars range and i'd been looking at knives not that i was going to buy any of these knives two years ago at blade show but i'd been looking at knives like the um the uh evo 3.0 shiragoroffs all kinds of different knives that i'm not usually used to and then when i went and looked at this knife and let's just say coming back from, because I was early in my knife collecting career. Um, career is the wrong way. My addiction, I guess we call it. But I didn't appreciate the value that was represented here. Because as I researched Oz, they didn't show up at Blade Co. 2023. And I learned it was because something that made their stock in me go up huge. They had a very successful Blade Show 2022. Their booth always had a single file organized line where they engaged every one of their clients because um, they keep up with that. They kind of look at it as a family. And then they'd see people step out of line and sell their knives for more than they just bought them for. And I could see how that might make you a little bit perturbed. So anyway, they swore off big blade shows. I think they go to the Manufacturers Guild and they do drops on Sundays and sometimes during the week, which I'm going to do my best to get in on because this knife is not overhyped. This knife is two years past the day that I first experienced it until now when I was able to unbox it, live with it, cut with it. Lord Deedham did say we could cut with it. Um, I wanted to bring you guys this review sooner than later because, if I'm not mistaken, I follow um, Oz Machine Company on Instagram, and I think I saw a bunch of scales that are for the coming Oz Roosevelt or XL, the X Roosevelt. Guys, I've not stropped this, and it's still slicey. And it's got that very nice point. It's got a fantastic Slurpee grip, even though I don't measure a knife on its Slurpee grip. I measure a knife, a knife like this, which I think is and could be, and I'll look at some other ones that you tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. But this little knife might be the finest American-made, medium, small medium, that's Christine from Women Carry Knives, EDC knife on the market. Um, absolutely no blade pele, no up and down. 
understated elegance and a beautifully simplistic design that just works. From the thumb hole, the kind of half moon thumb hole, from this gorgeous swedge at the top of this thin blade, the jimping that carries over from the top of the scale here to the, uh, to the blade without any interruption, the finger choil, the sharpening choil. I mean, I wanted to find early lockup or something that I could talk to you guys about that made me feel like if I squeeze it real hard, since it's kind of more angular, that I'd feel hot spots. I don't. It's a, it's a fantastic knife. Um, I was kind of comparing it to some of the knives... that I really like and think of as my number one kind of American made small batch knives. And there are a couple. And I know they're in a little different categories of themselves, but the Oz comes in, if I'm not mistaken, as the smallest. Let's check it next to this Oz or excuse me, this Koenig Mini Arius. It even comes in shorter than the Koenig Mini Arius. So for me, it is just a perfect little, small, effective, simple, made with high quality materials, grade 5 titanium, steel lock bar insert, 63-64 Magna Cut blade, nice stone washing, very thin, a knife that I would imagine you could sharpen up to be just an absolute razor. Um, great access to the lock bar. Just an absolute beauty, guys. Let's do a couple of other quick size comparisons. I'll spare you guys so we don't run too late on the... Uh, Psy 2 hollow grind. We'll look at it next to the Benchmade bug out. And instead of looking at the pair of two, I will grab the mini bug out, which is why I'm taking a little longer. And maybe this will help y'all see where the Roosevelt... Now keep in mind, the Roosevelt large is going to come out, and I'm not read anything about it, but I'm not anticipating it being a lot larger knife. I'm anticipating it being, because this is a good sized knife, but that gives you a good idea of how it falls between a Benchmade and the Mini Benchmade. So let's do a couple of quick measurements, and I want to start with the thinness of this blade because I'm just curious. Kind of very curious because it seems to be very thin. And I'm not going to go down behind the edge. 0.1185 swedge doesn't matter. Let's just get one little 0.0145 and the handle is going to be, I'm guessing, close to a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more, under a half, 0.41. So, yeah, guys, and if you want to look at the height of that, it's about an inch. Inch high, half inch wide, very, very, very comfortable. If we look at this thing using our old uh, Javon promotional tape measure, which is really just an Amazon tape measure with Javon sticker on it. This knife is 7 inches long with a 3 inch blade. Right under a three inch cutting area, two and three quarters, but it's actually larger than two and three quarters, between two and three quarters and three inches, with a handle of four inches and the area that I like to grab, we'll call it four inches to be safe. So from right here where this choil plunge line is to right here is four inches. So to me, with a medium to large size hand, as small and nimble as this knife is, it is very much a full handful for a medium knife. And some of my buddies that are real grown men who have really big hands are looking forward to the Nimble X. They're not the Nimble X, the Oz Roosevelt X. 
But guys, I was hoping that I would, after spending a little time with this knife, kind of feel like I did at Blade Show in 2022, which I appreciate it. I appreciate small batch American companies. I appreciate everything they do. I think we have to have them, and as long as they continue to push the envelope, the better off we're going to be. 2.95, perfect ounce to inch ratio, if you believe in that. But I did not expect to become infatuated to the point of come hell or high water at some point in the not-so-distant future. Um, and it might be in the future, but not-so-distant future. I will be adding an Oz Roosevelt to my collection. And I would love for it to be in Magna Cut. I like this uh, this pattern, the radial pattern, kind of matches my uh, McNeese. But I'm not a pattern pattern picky. I'm not at all pattern picky. But I do love the finish. I love the action. I love the simplicity. I love the fact that it's got so much snap. Part of that's the design of that blade hole. Part of it is just the overall design of the movement of the knife. So guys, without going into too much detail, because my channel is simply to tell you how knives make me feel, and you got a little back, little bonus on this one, because that's how I used to feel about a knife that I now feel differently about. That's why I always say keep an open mind. Um, I've cut paper with it. Haven't cut cardboard with it, although I was told I could, but I know it will laser beam through cardboard because I've cut enough cardboard with thin knives like this. I think this would make an absolutely perfect one-and-done EDC knife, not hard-use knife, an urban EDC knife for anybody who just needs to cut things on the daily, whether they're labels, whether they're pull cuts, whether they're shoving down your cardboard to fill up your recycle bin, or rather fending off gremlins, whatever the case may be. Guys, Oz Machine Co. Co. Roosevelt brought to us proudly from Attica, Indiana, to where, if I'm not mistaken, every single one of their fasteners and the parts that go into this knife are not only made in America, but they are made right there in that shop. So guys, <clears throat> support local business. This is a little higher. I think the last drop was somewhere around $750. There's one on half sale now from that drop. They're trying to get $1250 for, so it's definitely a knife that is an investment. You'll probably get your money back out of it. But I haven't bought one yet, but I will. Um, great knife. I want to thank, once again, my brother from another mother who has not only made these knives available for me to check out, but he has helped me acquire a knife that I'll be bringing to you guys later this weekend. And it's not the Strider that's in my pocket. It's in my fifth carry pocket. I bought the mini areas from him because he's such a great guy. But anyway, guys, I appreciate you. I love each and every one of you. Oz Roosevelt, it is worth the hype in every single way. Beautifully designed knife, functional tool, just uh, understated elegance, guys. If you would, please give Lord Needham a shout out in the uh, chat when you see him. He's a wizard, also Instagram legend. Do me a favor and look out for that guy or girl to your left. Take a look out for that guy or girl to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. And please, choose debate, not hate. I love y'all. Peace.